God is not delighted to see you suffering. It is never the plans of the Lord to have you live a low life. What God wants for you is that you are on top, that you are always making exploit, that everything you are doing is always blessed. You are created to be a blessing and not a burden. You are a precious being and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You cannot have God and still remain on the ground. You cannot love God with all your substance and your life will not show the blessings. What everybody wants to see in you is that blessing that comes from following and serving God faithfully. When God wants to bless you, when the time of your lifting comes, when it is your season of change, everything around you will tell you about it. You have been down because it is not the time for the lifting. You are about to cross the line into blessings and lifting by the power of the Lord. It is the Lord that will graciously lift you from the ground to the top. Promotion does not come from the north nor the south. The promotion is always from the God of heaven. You may not have known that your season of lifting has come, but God has the time and season in his hands and he knows the best time to bless you. He knows the best time to take you high. You must live the life of believing and trusting. You must always have to stand fast on your faith. There's one thing that is very important about life. The blessing, the lifting does not come if you do not want it. It is what you decide here on earth that heaven attends to. Matthew 18 verse 18 Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. God does not just interfere in the affairs of man here on earth unless there is an invite for him to come into it. If you do not pray to God for the lifting, God may not do it. That does not mean it is not his intentions to lift you from the ground to the top. But what he will do is to watch you until you invite him into your situation. God is eager to lift and bless you, but you have to do something about it. Calling God to lift you is an invite to the Lord to come and do it for you. When the Lord is about doing it for you, you will always have to know through the things that will have in your life. There are things that will happen in your life when God wants to take you to a higher level in life, to prosper you. You will get to know by the new development. You will be surprised what is happening. You might not understand the reasons these things are happening. But little do you know that the Lord wants to lift you to a higher level of life, to prosper you. It is going to be amazing how the Lord is going to do it for you. All you have to do is to keep your faith strong in the Lord because it is a time for the shift. It is a time that anything can happen to you. Be rest assured that whatever will happen is going to happen to you in your favor. Things will start to turn around for you for good. It will be good that you are blessed. It is very important that you are lifted for the sake of his purpose of good for your life, to make you the head, to put you on top and not below so that you will be a massive blessing to the world. In your office, in your business and finance, in your marriage, in everything that concerns you, your genuine trust and sincerity will be tested. 
that is what will make you eligible to be lifted to the next level of light and to get the prosperity. Most times, the reason some people miss their promotions and blessing is just because they are not sensitive to know this time. They are not careful to live right and keep their faith in a time like this in their life. You will be tried to know if you have built the experience and the capacity in you to handle the blessing of the new level God wants to put you in other to bless you. This is just the simple phenomena of life. You have to be prepared for it. You cannot manipulate it. Even if you try to manipulate it, it will always reflect in the show of events that you have not completed the circle of life that is meant to lead you into the blessing and the promotion into that prosperous life. The power you had in your present level will not be needed in your next level. There will be an improved power to sustain you in it, to help you keep the balance you have to build the capacity to keep your flow moving when God finally takes you to the top. This is what the Lord first checks and puts in place before any blessings come to you. Your one last trial may be tough, but when it comes, you will know that you are about to go into another level of life. You will know that God is about to prosper you and give you what you have been praying for. When God wants to bless you, you may not have known, but your spirit may have searched it out. Then your soul will have to show it forth in you, that you will begin to feel the blessing and season is about to come, that you will be blessed with every desire of your heart. That is the feeling that will keep you optimistic in the pursuit of your dreams. It will make you relax and take away the pressure out of you and make your life balanced to see through the time that God is about to do something for you. This is the feeling that stirs up the faith in you to believe more of the words of the Lord for your life and do everything he has commanded you to do if you want the blessing. Sometimes you may have not been able to translate the impulse into some information that you can understand, but you will have to follow up in faith to see what is going to happen next. The ecstatic feeling is going to increase your passion for the things you do. That will be the time you will begin to love what you do and start putting in more energy to do more so that you will get more output from your work. You do not know that the force working in you is the Lord trying to put things in place before bringing the blessing in reality. That is the Lord trying to communicate something to you that something is about to change in your life. When you understand this, then you have to draw closer to God. You have to realize that nothing on earth can bless you unless by God. When this blessing finally comes, you will know that it is God that has helped you to rise from nobody to somebody great, from zero influence to a powerful influence that can be reckoned with. This is what the Lord wants to do in your life. You have to know what God does by what is happening in your life.